Hey gang, Scott here, continuing this mini series for the masking tools in On One. We have one more tool to talk about the Sky Mask tool, Sky AI. Uh, this is a photo raw only thing. Everything I've shown you in this series so far has been applicable to really any of the On One plugins that have masking. I've been showing On One Effects as well as On One Photo Raw. The Sky AI. That's photo raw only, and um, you're probably familiar with it by this point. Sky swapping has been a thing in photo raw for a while, uh, but there's um, there's something interesting about the the Sky AI masking tool. Besides it being part of the masking tools, and I gotta show it in the mini series, uh, you don't have to use it just with Sky AI. You can use it elsewhere. And I, I want to show you how this works. So um, you're probably familiar with sky swap, right? You know, you have a photo like this where there's nothing going on in the sky. You go over to the sky tab, photo raw automatically figures out, all right, what's in the sky, what's not. And then you can decide, okay, I'm going to pick something to, to drop in and I need to add a reflection. Okay, great. I've got something there, you know, all right. Um, but that's not what I'm interested in here. Uh, because there are other options we can use and leverage the Sky AI masking smarts to uh, help us with other masking jobs and other types of adjustments. And uh, this was pointed out to me when I did a, a video a while back that mentioned something about Sky AI. Several folks said, you know, hey, did you know that you can just access this uh, option directly from the effects tab or from local and I wasn't aware of it and it's really cool because you know uh, if I wanted to use the sky mask of course I have the mask I can copy it and move it around but there's an easier way to do it and uh, let's just turn off this sky swap because I'm not interested in that let's say what I am interested in is for this photo I want to you know, like the the sky is a little bright I want to I want to you know maybe target a little more color to it so I'd say you know great color adjustment, let's do a sky thing, but the water is just like way too blue, right? It's just way over the top. In the masking area, if you right click on the mask, you get mask sky. And that same detection is built right into the masking tool. So I don't have to go over to the sky tab to see what's going on there. Uh, or copy that mask, remember it, and bring it over each time. It's right there with a right click. And so, wonderful, I've masked away the sky because I'm working with a, an effects filter. By default, I have it applying everywhere. I did that, you know, mask sky thing. It masked away the sky. I want the opposite, invert, and wonderful. Now I've got, you know, my my sky. I can, I can dial that, that tone in. And if I view the mask, you're going to notice that there's little bits that creep into the hillside. That's actually a good thing because there will be hints of blue at those edges there off in the distance. So that in and of itself isn't a problem. Once again, look at the photo. Judge the photo by how it looks. Don't get this pristine edge on a mask only to find out later you're introducing halos because you're, you're taking things away. Just pay attention to the photo. But this can be useful in uh, you know a whole variety of places, right? All right, now I got a another filter. Um, in this case, I probably want to do more color work. Where's my color adjustment? You know, foliage to bring up the greens. Some this one's pretty safe. I don't have I don't really have any effect happening in the sky. Um, but let's say I had a sky that had some clouds in it, something up in the sky. I like it. The photo's great. I like the sky. I don't need to replace it, but I want to do work on a scene and not affect the sky. For me, that's often dynamic contrast. I want contrast. So I can go into dynamic contrast and great contrast pop, protect my sky with a right click, mask sky, let on one do the detection. And now my contrast is purely limited to everything but the sky. So that's really as much as there is about the Sky AI tool. Uh, it's automatic. It will figure out what the sky is. The key thing is it's available to you directly 
in the masking options area for an effects filter for a local adjustment. You know, anywhere that you have masks and you're working in Photo Raw, this is a Photo Raw only thing today, you've got Sky AI. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. Got other tips about Sky AI? Drop those below too. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.